Skateboarding nowadays is more based on like street skating and like park skating. Way to do to think of as skateboarding. Longboarding has kind of evolved as a race sport. I want to say two to maybe three years ago, uh, the Texas Downhill team started down at UT. We're the longboarding club on campus that's kind of geared towards teaching uh, new people uh, the basic like longboarding skills and like stopping and pushing. And it's also geared more towards people who want to learn more like advanced stuff like sliding. Basically the biggest thing that we try to do is just promote safe skate culture and you know do everything to stay in control and never be out of control on the board so you can make the crazy a little bit less crazy. Ooh, uh, catch. Uh, I like it for the like mental challenge it is in the way that uh, whenever you're doing downhill like you're going up these speeds so you have to really focus yourself to what you're doing. And it's kind of like calming in a way that it like focuses all your energy on this one thing. I don't know, going uphill kind of sucks. It's a little tiring, but also it keeps your core tight and uh, pushing and stuff with your legs. It's uh, it's a good leg workout. Road rash kind of sucks, <laughs> especially when you're learning. You get a lot of it. Just got a little bit tonight. It's not bad. So the culture, the scene is very tight knit, especially the Texas scene. It's not hard to talk to people. It's uh, not hard to meet new friends. Come out here and uh, you know you just get to hang out with people who also longboard, just stress relief, and then you know for fun, really good exercise too. Something that someone can take out of it and like spiritual release, have something on your mind, go skate, take your mind off of it. You might end up falling, but of course your mind is going to be on you falling, not what you were worried about before you went skating. Longboarding is crazy just because, yeah, it's unpredictable. Like, you know, you never know when someone's gonna like step out in front of you and blame you for being the one that's in the way. And, you know, you have to be able to be quick. You know, your reaction time goes up. It's just, you know, you always have to be aware of your surroundings. If skating lunch wasn't introduced to me, I definitely wouldn't be in Austin. I wouldn't be where I am today. I probably wouldn't be the same person I am. So it's definitely molded my life to what it is.